so I turned 31 recently, and I guess I don't look my age because I got a lot of younger guys coming up to me. This guy came up to me, I knew he was way too young for me. I was like, how old are you? He said, I'm 21. I was like, I'm 10 years older than you. He was like, well, how old is that? I'm like, if you can't figure that out, we're done here. I don't even try anymore. I have a kid. I don't, I'm not trying to impress any guys. Like, I don't shave it. You see this up here? It's the same situation down here. There's so much hair blocking this area. It's like censorship. You can't see anything. It's not like I can go on a date even if I meet a guy I like, because the kid is always there. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, I just end up talking on the phone all night. One time I let the phone sex. It was really awkward because she was in the next room sleeping. I was like, we gotta be quiet because I don't want to wake up the baby. And the guy was like, okay, well, just give me a phone sex, BJ. I don't even know. What is the sound effect for a phone sex, BJ? I don't know. What did it do? I tried. I was like, ah. Uh... <laughs> you like that? These are your balls. <laughs> and I swear, a few seconds later, she came in from the next room and she's like, Ooh. she's always there. I don't know about dating. I've been looking at these pathetic dating services. Have you seen this dating on demand on Comcast? Remote controlled dating, have you seen this? I saw a clip of this one lady, her clip came on. She was like, he should date me cause I'm fun and I ain't all that ugly. <laughs> How honest is that? It was beautiful. She had like this cup is half full spirit about her. She was like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm ugly, but I ain't all that ugly. <laughs> like, like, I wish I could be that honest in my clip and I would find the perfect man for me. My clip would come on, I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna level with you. I'm gonna cheat on you. <laughs> but I ain't all that gonna cheat on you. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna get pregnant because I'm pregnant now. <laughs> But I ain't all that pregnant. <laughs> I hate dating. The worst is after a date when the guy calls you, the awkward call when you realize that you're never gonna fall in love with the guy and he still thinks you're gonna see him again. It's like one of those war movies, like the battle scene where your army buddy, he just got shot and he's bleeding profusely and he looks up at you and he's like, maybe tomorrow I can take you to some nice Italian restaurant. We could go dancing. <laughs> And you're like, sure, Johnny, sure. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> Just like old times. Cause you don't wanna lie to him, right? <laughs> but when I press the end call button, I like to press it with two fingers like I'm closing his two dead eyes. Aww. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> but I'll tell your kids you love them. <laughs> And I'm attracted to the wrong kind of guy, too. Like, I like really thuggish guys. I just like them to be intelligent, which is hard to find, because they all talk the same. You can't, it's hard to tell them apart. Uh, this one guy came up to me on the street one time, and he was like, what's up, Ma? You got a big booty. Can I push up on it? He went from urban to jazz. He was like, um, I was like, offended. I said, why are you talking to me like that? He was like, I was just using the proper street vernacular that's common amongst ruffians of my stature. Oh. Well, when you put it like that, um. <laughs> I met the other type. I met the other type, but he was just, he was dumb. I couldn't tell until I asked him too many questions. I said, what do you do? He says, now what I do is what I get done. I'm like, oh. Huh, why are you being so mysterious? What are you, Batman? <laughs> And then I complimented him. That was the mistake, because I was like, well, you look very young for your age. He said, yeah, it's because the clothes I wear, they euthanized me. <laughs> I wish they would right now. I wish they would just 